Hi everyone, I am Rohini and my project mate is Rahini Child Rescue System from Open Borewells. In India, recently we have met some of the tragic incidents and helpless incidents where many young people have been taking falling into borewells. Borewells are typically small in diameter ranging from 4.5 inches to 12 inches. India is the biggest user of groundwater in the world and has over 27 million borewells mean to extract water. Once the water dries up, the mortar is and the PVC cover is inserted along the depth of the borewell or removed while the outer surface is not covered properly. Children playing near the abandoned borewell happens to fall deep into them as the Statistics suggest in the consecutive years starting from 2009, more than 40 deaths are occurred due to the stuck in the borewell. Most harmful fact, the 92% of victims are under the age of 10. This is the situation still continues to despite all measures taken. The rescue mission is dependent on various crucial factors such as its location, diameter, depth of the borewell, variability of taking the equipment, oxygen, light facilities and the nature of the soil. The conventional method involves the parallel hole that is dug to the depth of the borewell in which the child is horizontal and hole is subsequently down to connect these two vertical holes. However, this requires considerable resources in terms of rescue across heavy machinery. In the absence of any requirements, this leads to the failure of the operation. These methods are time-consuming and often delayed. If while digging the parallel holes, the digger strikes the hard rock. Such incidents affect the chance of rescuing the child alive. Also, because of the lack of oxygen and the deadly atmosphere, child dies slowly before the rescue team can reach them. Mechanism used in our projects are the camera and the light is deployed as the initial setup taking all the necessary measurements. The system is sent down. The camera and light gives the 360 degree coverage throughout the operation. The camera helps us to detect the and align the gaps with the pace after acquiring the right depth of the oxygen hoses inserted to provide the oxygen to the child and the child will be dehydrated for that we send food through food pipes. Yes, in another project we have used 230 volt AC, sub, AC power supply. A power supply is an electronic circuit that converts the voltage of an AC into DC motor, DC voltage, AC stepper motor, AC is the type of current each motor turns into energy. AC motor is known as increased power output and efficiency which rotates in both forward and reverse direction. Bearing and steel rope shaft. Bearing is the machine element that constraints relative motion to only desired motion and reduces friction between the moving parts. Steel ropes or uh, wires or studs are balanced when a rope is designed. Teleconferencing, the child will be low confidence level due to no communication with their parents. For that, we have enhanced teleconferencing. Bladder is the imaginary balloon type structure that is left under the foot of the child to lift the child safely. Multi grippers. In our project, we have used a multi grippers as an end effector in the system for clamping the child. Now, the Wire rope is inserted in multi gripper is inserted to 
Rescue the child. And the child is rescued safely. Thank you.